Alright, so um, today I've got my first Forza Horizon video. I can hold my car. I know. It's uh, it's horrible. I know. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so this one, this video, is uh, gonna be about how you can uh, how you can level up your road racing series fast. Because obviously, if you didn't know, then this is how you unlock the Goliath. You need to get your road racing series to level 20. If you don't know what the Goliath is, I'll uh, leave a link down below. Or you can just go on my channel uh, and I will show you. Oh dear, whoops. Yeah, nice, clean, smooth. Alright, uh, basically I'll explain what the Goliath is, but a short, a short like a a short way to put it, basically it's a, it's a race where you go around the whole map and each lap gives you around 75k uh, credits so it's great for making money and I'm not quite sure how much uh, influence it does get you but I know that it does get you quite a bit of influence so yeah for this road racing series thing you need to get to road racing level 3 first and that's really not that difficult but then you want to come over to where I am at the moment you want to create a blueprint you want to go hyper cars um, you know just like let's, let's just let Kira stop talking shall we um, uh, nothing takes your fancy you can even create your own that's what I want to do Right. You're gonna go hyper cars, you know, class. You can put the classes open. Alright, if you're doing this for the first time, obviously the Kira thing's gonna be kind of annoying. Uh, so, you're gonna go to event settings then. You're gonna put the number of laps on 50. Um, yeah, obviously. Unfortunately is winter however you can change it so it's spring and you're going to create blueprint and you're going to congratulations your first blueprint event and the honor of being the first driver to run it goes to you show them how it's done that's what i'm going to do all right so you're going to go with this i'm going to go with my sienna um so yeah, <laughs> the winter thing is very annoying. So hopefully now that I've put it on spring, it should be a bit better. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll soon see. Obviously, if you're using this car that I'm using right now, the Sienna, I would recommend converting it to an all-wheel drive. Because the, real wheel, the rear wheel drive is, it's honestly, <laughs> it's shocking for this car. So this is a million. Uh, credits and then I think I spent about 75k upgrade in it. Um, I'm sorry, my character looks clapped, um, but I haven't I haven't unlocked any more stuff yet. So basically, you're gonna want to go and do all 50 of these laps. Um, go to difficulty settings. You can put it on inexperienced if you want, or you can. It gives you bonus credits. Uh, but, nah, um, nah, assisted, steering assisted, traction control, traction control system attempt to keep wheels from losing track. Alright, you know what, I'm not going to put it on custom, I'm going to put it on medium, <laughs> I'm going to keep it on medium, and, uh, yeah, we're just, yeah, we're just going to do that, we're just going to keep it on medium, and, uh, yeah. Let's uh let's just start the race. Um so yeah, we'll do one lap just to show you how uh I don't really think it matters where you finish, obviously the higher you finish the uh better score you do get, but you know. Alright, this is a uh, yeah, I'm not very good at racing as you can tell. Uh I only got the game yesterday. But uh yeah, I know that this does help you because one of my mates told me about it. Um, 
it's a fairly horrible circuit to be honest. <laughs> but it's worth it in the long run. There may be other circuits that you can do at level 3 or if you've leveled up higher then obviously you can do them. But, uh, I can't keep on the track at the minute because too many bends. Yep, okay, just ram into me then. Uh, I'll do one more lap and then I'll pause it. Uh, stop the recording. And then I'll come back after I've done it. Um, so yeah, you do. It takes about 50 seconds to do each lap. Um, yeah. Not much more to say really. This mm, circuit is so annoying. Like. Mm, the lines don't even mean out. Literally, like, as soon as I get above 60 miles per hour, it tells me to slow down. Alright. So let me just pause this real quick. I don't know why I broke it, but yeah. Let's just, uh... Alright, so I'll be back once I finish this race. Um, so I've nearly finished the race now, uh, as you can see I've been doing it for 38, 38 minutes and 30, I've been doing it for 38 minutes, please don't tell me, no such. Um, I'm first place, by the way, uh, I've been first place pretty much since the uh, 20th lap, I've just been lapping people ever since, no real competition so it's not that hard to do um, it's just a bit time consuming so I've just been watching YouTube in the background uh, listening to a bit of music as well uh, I'm glad it's not on winter though you should def I definitely recommend taking it off winter if you are in the winter season because it just does make it a lot easier to complete yeah, I don't really care about how I'm driving this race anymore. You have to brake quite a bit. And that's one thing I have learned. You have to brake quite a bit. Um, so yeah, this is probably the fastest way to level up your road racing thing. However, you can do obviously the Colossal, which you would unlock at level 10, I believe. Um, so that's like uh, kind of like a mini Goliath. It's a uh, basically you start at the bottom of the map and you go straight up to the top of the map. Whereas the Goliath, you go all the way around the outside of the map. And obviously, you earn more profit, you earn more money from the Goliath because it's bigger. But uh, I'd say that doing the Colossal is quite a good way of doing it. But uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure the Colossal is a sprint. So therefore you can't like repeat the number of laps. So and then you know, I reckon it would just be quicker to do it this way. Because the time it takes for you to drive from the end of the Colossal back to the start of the Colossal then you've got to restart the race and then it's just going to take too long there we go i finished the race uh how long did that take about 40 minutes 46 minutes yeah and second took 48 minutes oh no sorry um never mind that's the best lap um so it took 40 minutes uh i can't be bothered to watch the rest of them finish really but yeah we got 91k from that. And the influence we earned was 39k. So obviously we aren't doing it for the... I'm not doing it for the uh, money. I'm doing it to level this up. So we've leveled up twice now from that. Gonna... Yeah, that's three times from the Rose Racing. We've leveled up three times. Four times. 
don't, I doubt we're going to level up five times from it. Nah. So we leveled up four. We've qualified for Horizon Spring Season. Uh, that super wheel spin that's making us do. Yep, we, and we've just got an extra 400k from it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what that is. It's not pretty much, it's the end of the video. Um, that's the best way to level up, get the road racing series leveled up. Obviously, now we're going to unlock more, so and then we're going to do a high level one. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.